skins! There's so many to choose from, and you're almost guaranteed to find something close to your taste, right? However, some skins are just not it. I know how hard the artists work on these skins, but sometimes they just miss the mark. There's no way to know the least popular skin for sure, but with a bit of research and digging, I quickly found a pattern. There are generally a handful of skins that are frequently considered the worst, or just ugly by many. So here's every skin in Clash of Clans that many consider to be the worst. Let's do this. Party skins. You either hate them or love them. For those who dislike them, they're often seen as too goofy and unhero-like for a game like Clash of Clans. But whether you like the party skins or not, it seems the community can agree on one party skin that just looks terrible. The Party Queen. I've seen her compared to many wild things. That short lady from The Incredibles, Lady Kaka, the female version of the villain from Despicable Me 3, and my personal favorite, Pepe wearing those cool shades. But only Pepe can rock them and look cool at the same time. Okay, enough roasting. The skin's ugly. The hair, the shades, the color, the outfit. I get the style they were going for. It's pretty obvious, but it's not the queen party skin that everyone was hoping for. In my opinion, they should have given her a different party theme and not whatever the f that is. In my quest to find everyone's least favorite skin, I saw one particular skin that consistently showed up in discussions and rankings as the worst. The Clockwork Queen. <laughs> it seems that a lot of players dislike the entire Clockwork set, actually. And that may be a reason for why we never got a Clockwork Champion, but I don't really know. It appears the wood toy style just didn't appeal to many, and the Queen just looks off. I mean, <laughs> look at her face. You wanna play a little game? Funny enough, I actually love the Clockwork set. In fact, in my ranking, I had the queen at S. Bruh. I guess you either hate it or love it. It seems like it just appealed to a very small group of people, and I happen to be in that group. But yeah, still, the Clock Tower Queen is often regarded as the worst by many. She just looks very off, and the design choice for many was terrible. The Primal set wasn't exactly anything out of this world. I mean, it's different and unique for Clash of Clans, but design-wise, it's pretty basic. And even three years later, when they released the Primal Champion, not a whole lot of people were impressed, especially for $10. So yeah, not the most popular set, but my favorite has to be the Primal King. But this video isn't about my favorite, it's about the least popular ones. And the Primal Warden is the one that gets the most shit. As far as I've seen, it usually boils down to one thing. It's just ugly, man. <laughs> There's no other way I could put it. Many folks agree that the skin just doesn't look good, and part of that is the colors. How they all just blend together, and he kind of just looks like homeless Moses holding a giant hand that no one knows where it came from. However, he does have some pretty sweet custom animations. Much like the Primal set, the Rogue set isn't the most popular set out there, and it's actually missing the Grand Warden, so sometimes it's considered an incomplete set, and some people don't like that. But I don't mind the set, the champion has to be my favorite. But holy sh**, what the hell is that abomination? The king f***ed it up for everybody. <laughs> While the queen and champion look like they mean business, the king looks goofy as hell. <laughs> I mean, what the f*** is that? To this day, people are still arguing if it's a bob cut or half a pumpkin on his head. The world will never know. As far as I've read, the main reason it's disliked among many is just that it doesn't fit the king. Not only that, but he kind of looks dumb. They could have easily made the king look like a badass, but they didn't. Despite his clownish looks, I do like how he slams his fist down on things. I don't know if that's unique for this skin or not, but it's dope. The Warrior King is a interesting skin. It landed on this list not because it looks bad, but the fact that it was a $10 legendary skin released four months after another legendary king skin that was arguably way better. It also had pretty lackluster animations, no custom spawn units, just nothing special enough to be worth the price or that legendary title. Like I said, it's not dislike because it looks bad, I actually like how it looks and many don't complain about the looks, but it's because it's a pretty terrible legendary skin. It is often compared to the champion skin, but worse. <laughs> I guess Supercell didn't realize that making this a legendary skin sets the bar incredibly high, and this skin failed to impress most players. 
The summer set is surprisingly a good set. I'm not much of a fan of the queen, but overall many people seem to love all the skins. Except for one. The Summer Warden. Now, I've found that the reason is very similar to the Primal Warden. It looks really cool in the trailer, but in the game, the low poly model makes it look like hot garbage. Especially how his vest blends in with his skin. It just doesn't look as good as it did in the trailer, and of course, I know. The trailer uses very high quality renders, so it's not exactly a fair comparison, but most of the time, the skins in the trailers turn out to be almost the same in the game, with obviously less detail, but in this case, the warden looks bad. Contrast, the colors, the design, the, the lack of detail you can see in the game. But you know one thing I do love about this skin and all of them in this set is the summer vibe. It's cool and I really wish the warden had a better design or different colors at least. But yeah, at least he does have some cool animations. It's typically that the warden gets the bat skins and then cool animations for some reason. You know, it's a good thing that Supercell started to release sets of skins a little faster because some sets are not it. And you end up waiting months to complete a set and the last skin can be garbage. Imagine waiting a year to find the next party skin is this. Bruh. Like I said earlier, the party skins can be a hit or miss. You either love them and want to collect every party skin because they're dope, or you only have them because they were part of the damn pass and you're forced to collect it. I don't really mind this skin, but like the party queen, it's just not the kind of party skin everybody was expecting, and it doesn't particularly look good. But that's very subjective. She does have very cool animations, and that goes for all the party skins as well. All of them have really cool animations. The Gladiator set has got to be one of the coolest sets in the game. I mean, it fits the game so well and makes every hero look, well, like a hero. The one to start it all was the Gladiator King, which happened to be the first skin in the game as well. When it was released, everyone wanted the Gladiator King. Finally, heroes have skins and you can change the way your Barbarian King looks with this cool new armor. However, it didn't age well due to how basic it is compared to literally any other King skin nowadays including the worst ones. Don't get me wrong, it's not that the Gladiator King looks bad, it's just that the King suffers from being the first skin, so it doesn't have quite the detail and uniqueness. Supercell probably didn't want to make a dramatically different skin, so they did a basic one. The set wasn't complete until late 2021, so there's a very large gap between the king and the champion, and it really shows. Ah uh, yes, Christmas, right? The community seems divided whether the Jolly Skins are worth it or not, because to some, they seem out of place unless it's Christmas. <laughs> and it's too bad that you only have one set to choose from, because some of these are disliked by many. However, there's one that I kept seeing discussions about. The Jolly Warden. That is, until the Jolly Champion came out and dethroned the Warden as the most disliked Jolly skin. <laughs> okay, there's a lot wrong here, but let's just start with colors. Many have pointed out that all of the others are following a red, white, and gold theme, like a Santa would. And then the Champion is just straight up a green elf. Why? If you wanted his skin to be different, now's not the time, Supercell. Should have been red, like this concept I found. Also, the price tag. Why is it always the last skin in a set to be $10 and look like dog shit at the same time? And finally, the animations are almost all identical to the default champion. Like many have speculated, this skin seemed rushed and just an attempt to finish a set because I guess there need to be a Jolly skin on the schedule. I don't mean to shit on this skin so much, it doesn't look that terrible to me, but I, I guess I just understand the disappointment the community had. But at least everyone seems to love the King and Queen. So guys, those are all the skins I could find that had the most negative comments around it. This video has no specific order, but if you're curious, the two that I frequently saw mentioned the most was the Rogue King and Clockwork Queen. Those two seem like the most hated skins overall. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.